But Saturday, always a great day to go to a farmer's market. You know who's cool? This guy. He walks it like he talks it. Walk it like he talks it. Yeah, Walk yeah. it like he talks it. Yeah, yeah. And his red raspberry jacket. And here yeah. he is. Michelle Jalen is here. We're talking about, like you said, farmer's markets. Yeah. What to know before you go? What do you pack? Yes, so farmers markets have gotten more popular because people want to know where their food comes from now, right? We want to be more connected with our food. Before you go, you want to make sure you pack the right thing. So you can bring a grocery cart like this, or you can get an insulated bag right here in case you decide that you don't want to go home right after. It keeps things nice and cool. But you know what? If you're not into that, you can always bring a backpack. That works as well. If you're cycling or something, yeah. Yes, for yeah. sure. And so cash is king at a farmer's market. You want to bring cash, <laughs> especially small bills, yeah. change. Farmers are really appreciate you having change for them when you go. So save up your change throughout the week and like go on a Saturday. Love that. Yeah, a lot of farmers don't have bags even there. Mm -hmm. So you have to bring something to carry. To put so it in. Yeah. So what else are we looking for in terms of produce? Do we in get there season. in the morning? Do we get there, yeah, does it matter true. later on in the day? Yes, so just in the morning? Absolutely, so it depends. So in the morning, if you want the fresh pick, you want the first thing that no one's ever touched before, you're gonna go first thing in the morning. If you know, you kinda like to sleep in, you like to go later, that's not bad either, you go in the late afternoon. That's when some farmer's markets, some farmers will actually might be, be willing to give you a deal on produce because they don't wanna bring all that stuff home with them. They wanna yeah. just get rid of it all, So right? you won't have the selection, yeah. but you may get a better price at exactly. the end of the day. Exactly, yeah. yes. so what are we looking at right now that's, I can, can you smell these fragrant oh, of berries? <gasps> I love a little cherry. It's so nice. Yeah. It's great for the environment too because you know they haven't traveled a long way before they came to you. Yeah, that's correct. So that's why buying local is great mm -hmm. because also not only do you know who produced your food, but yes, they didn't have to travel as far to get to you. Um, one thing I like to do too, if you go to a farmer's market and if you go often, farmers like it too if you bring back the old packaging. Like um, when my husband and I go and we buy eggs, we bring back the old egg carton and the farmer Aww. loves that as well Good because he doesn't have to give us a new one every time. Mm -hmm. yeah, every farmer has a personality too. That's yeah. the other part too. You get to see the characters uh, in season is always important too to kind of go there not, with an open mind too you probably discover new foods yes so normally when you go to a grocery store you bring a shopping list right so and you're like I want to buy this this and this and this but a farmers market is more like an adventure it's great for kids it's great for families you go there you might try something that you never thought you would like because there's usually a lot of samples and it might become a staple in your kitchen so say you get overzealous they're so fresh yeah. you buy too many. too many what do you do so, yes so I'm a really big fan of freezing my produce so especially because at this time of year the farmers will probably sell a lot of of one thing and then if you find I can't eat all these cherries this is three kilograms of cherries okay. you can always yeah. freeze your produce you know your berries berries freeze very well and they're in season and then you can use them year-round on different things so you can put them in a smoothie you can put them on top of your oatmeal and so you're using your fresh strawberries that you bought mm. frozen on another time of year when they were picked at their most nutritious time and they retain all those nutrients but you have that's to take right. the deep pit them you need that deep pitting thing yeah that's right for so the you, cherries yes that's right for the for the cherries you can deep, deep pit them um, but you know for the berries you don't need them and you know other things too green beans corn zucchini those things also are things that are in season and are great to go in different recipes and of course they freeze well and talk to your local farmers right frankie yeah you know what my family are farmers my cousins the rigas uh you know they work hard it's a hard life yes. but yeah. the, what they do put into it farms feed cities it's so true yeah. and you'll try new things you otherwise wouldn't try a lot of times they're samples you'll find your new favorite cheese i got so into enoki mushrooms because i was really? at a farmer's market and they're like you have to try these yeah. they're so nutty and now i'm always incorporating them in recipes so go explore what we have to offer for more information breakfasttelevision.ca for some of your favorite farmers markets picks there's one near you for sure more bt right after this dig in